Nothing for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we brought uh, also a colleague who should translate uh, oh. the Slovak language, but uh, probably he will get the salary. I will continue uh, in English if I'm able to do that. <laughs> Thank you once again. It will be the first instance that a government job uh, is paid without performance. Yeah. <laughs> it never happened before. Yeah. <laughs> But thank you once again, Mr. Prime Minister, for a very constructive and a very good meeting and a very positive meeting because we, we, were, we didn't spend our time with some diplomatic sentences and uh, you know, empty uh, words. We were very concrete and I really appreciate uh, that we were able to speak about concrete possibility about uh, how to cooperate between Israel and, and Slovakia. And Slovakia is the world leader in the automotive sector per capita, that's true. And I'm really happy, Mr. Prime Minister, that Slovakia is also another world leader. It means we are only 5.5 million citizens, but we have already in this moment more than 600 people which are awarded by uh, Israel because they helped to survive uh, Jewish people during the Second World War. And we are over 600 of people like that, so we are also per capita, the world leader in this issue, and we are proud of it, Mr. Prime Minister. I'm glad to so. And uh, of course, with the Prime Minister, we have a good, we had a good uh, discussion about how to cooperate in a, in a, in many fields. It is defense. It is also a great cooperation between our intelligence services. Mm -hmm. This is very important to fight against terrorism and against these uh, other problems that we are facing uh, in this moment. And, of course, for Slovakia, it's very important to bring higher added value to the Slovak industry. Because if we would like to stay a, a world leader in the uh, automotive sector, we need to bring more R&D, more research, and uh, more innovation to, to Slovakia. And really, I can say that the Prime Minister already mentioned, Slovakia will open very soon in Jerusalem a new cultural information and innovation center in Jerusalem here because we also made the decision that Slovakia will have for the first time in our history uh, only four diplomats responsible for innovation and one of this one of this one diplomat will be exactly in Jerusalem in this new center and uh, I think that's a good uh, decision of Slovak Republic. There is really a valid invitation for you, Prime Minister, to visit Bratislava. Really, we are the last country in that area where an Israeli Prime Minister never uh, was or, or never visited this country. So I believe that uh, in the second half of this year, we can organize a really great visit of an uh, Israeli Prime Minister to Slovakia together with the business delegation and I hope this will strengthen our relationships, which are really now on a very good and very friendly level. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will say this, that I'm, uh, I'm uh, delighted with the invitation. Uh, there's a small matter, I just have to get re-elected, but, uh, <laughs> but I think that uh, it reflects a, a growing uh, friendship and partnership between Israel and Slovakia, and I'm uh, Absolutely delighted with your decision to open your uh, culture and innovation center in Jerusalem to send a, a diplomat for that. I won't hide from you that it's my hope that this will be the first step towards opening the Slovak embassy in Jerusalem. But we'll have time to talk about that. And I thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.